When you get your HbA1c results from OmegaQuant, you'll receive a report that looks like this. You'll get your results in this little red circle. And again, the results are percentage of the number of HbA1c, or number of hemoglobin proteins that have a glucose attached over the total amount of hemoglobin proteins. So it is a percent. We have your range that you should be in. So if you are in the green range, you are in a healthy range for HbA1c levels, and it means your blood sugar is being managed well. And the healthy range is between 4.5% and 5.7%. Between 5.7 and 6.5%, that's an intermediate range. It Sometimes that's what's defined as prediabetes. It's a good time to talk to your healthcare provider and start doing some lifestyle changes to be able to um, turn back the clock and get your levels back down into the green zone. Once you're above 6.5%, that is typically a cutoff for diabetes and that would need to be confirmed with multiple testing and also talk to your healthcare provider about it. Some things you can do to lower HbA1c with lifestyle are to decrease the amount of pure glucose coming into your body. So ultra processed foods are really potent sources as well as added sugars. Um, having fiber and protein when you eat carbohydrates, um, so a whole grain would be carbohydrate with fiber. That is a great way to slow down the glucose coming into the system. Um, so those are easy dietary changes that you can make. And then the other few things you can do are increase physical activity that takes more of the blood sugar out of the bloodstream and into the muscles. And also getting adequate sleep is really important for blood sugar management. There are many other things you can do, but those are the basics to start with. Um, and this report gives you even more information about what's going on with blood sugar and when it's important to talk to your healthcare provider.